Welcome to the second Waterloo Innovation Summit. We're absolutely delighted that you could be here on a wet, uh, windy, wild spring day. We weren't sure what the uh, turnout would be. We knew it would be high, but this is absolutely great. Jam-packed room and uh, everybody looking forward to the next couple of days. Um, I'd like to uh, welcome all of you in the audience in front of me here and uh, upstairs. Uh, also, a special welcome to our audience who are participating at the summit via our live stream feed, including alumni and partners who are literally coming to us from across the globe. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge, just uh, beginning, if I could, to the large number of current U of, U of Waterloo students uh, who are participating in the summit as part of our overflow space. And these folks are our leaders of tomorrow and certainly those that are the future of global innovation. So welcome to you folks. Leading up to the summit, we've had considerable interest via social media. Thanks to everyone who have already been engaged in this discussion, including a live Twitter chat that's taken place over the last hour. We encourage you, whether you're here in person or whether you are uh, engaged elsewhere, to be part of this uh, group with us and put your remarks in uh, whenever you have an opportunity. This is a wonderful venue, uh, the wonderfully engaging Mike and Ophelia Lazaridis Quantum Nano Center. Uh, we are very, very uh, appreciative of the contributions that those groups have made to us for this wonderful event today. Um, in just a moment, I'm going to ask the president to uh, address uh, the group. But before we do, uh, I'd like to introduce you to the team of some of our UW leaders who have been instrumental in uh, putting part of the summit together and who will be joining me on the course of the summit, either as introducers, as participants, or as panelists uh, up here on the stage. Uh, I'm going to ask if they wouldn't mind at least putting their hand up or maybe even standing up. Please, no applause is necessary. We can hold that to the end, but uh, for those that are here. And so, Pearl, since your head is down on your thing here, I'm going to start with you, okay? Uh, Pearl Sullivan is our Dean of Engineering. Uh, Ginny DeBenko, our Executive Director of the Waterloo Stratford Campus. Uh, we have uh, Kelly McManus. Uh, I'm just going to put up Kelly and say, sorry, let, let me do that again, Kelly, because you don't look quite like <laughs> Kevin. I just, Kevin is still on the road. Uh, Kevin is, of course, the chair of our UW Board of Governors and also the vice chair of BMO Financial Group. Um, also, there's Kelly. I knew I'd have her somewhere. Kelly McManus. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Senior director of our community relations and events. Uh, Carol Lehman, who is also, I think, on the road just on her way to get here. We've had some traffic jams along the way, as I'm sure some of you uh, have, have, uh, have recognized. And uh, uh, finally, for those who were able to attend our inaugural event in uh, 2013, you'll remember our wonderful conference curator, uh, Jim DeWild. As an advisor to the university, Jim has been instrumental in helping us to develop this outstanding program that you'll experience over the next couple of days. You'll hear a lot more from Jim uh, throughout the summit. It's my pleasure now to introduce the host of our summit, Dr. Ferdin Hamdulapur, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Waterloo. The summit is a clear indication of just how important entrepreneurship and innovation are to Ferdin's vision to the University of Waterloo and the economic relevance and impact of universities that follow an innovation strategy. Ferdin has been an outstanding leader and a supporter, and I will say a supporter to me personally, in integrating and growing our entrepreneurship activity at the University of Waterloo. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming President Handelapar. Thank you. 